connection, we're trapped. No, 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 please. No connection, I hate this. What if the internet disappeared from our world? Picture waking up tomorrow to a silent phone. No notifications, no emails, no social media. You turn on your computer, and every browser shows the same message. No connection. Across the world, from skyscrapers in New York to villages in Asia, from military bases to family homes, the entire internet has vanished. The 21st century was built on connectivity. The Internet is not just a tool, it is the bloodstream of civilization. Without it, banks freeze, planes lose navigation, hospitals collapse, and the world plunges into chaos. But beyond disaster lies transformation. Could humanity adapt? Could we return to an offline life? Or would society as we know it unravel completely? Tonight, we imagine the unimaginable. A planet without the Internet. From AI and robotics to entertainment, politics, and war, we will explore how the disappearance of the web would reshape the world. The first impact would be personal. Billions wake up every day to alarms set on Internet-connected devices. Smart homes, smart TVs, digital assistants, all of them dead. A generation that never knew life without Wi-Fi would find themselves thrust into silence. Social media, the new public square, disappears overnight. No TikTok, no Instagram, no Twitter. Influencers vanish in an instant. Celebrities lose their audiences. Teenagers used to digital validation spiral into panic, searching for meaning offline. Workplaces grind to a halt. Remote jobs vanish. Zoom calls are impossible. Cloud services holding billions of documents, designs, and memories turn into black holes. Businesses collapse not from fire or war, but from disconnection. In homes, chaos spreads. Children no longer able to access online classes are left with paper and chalk. Parents can't transfer money pay bills, or order groceries. Supermarkets are overwhelmed as supply chains, once managed online, snap like fragile threads. Entertainment falls silent. No Netflix, no YouTube, no Spotify. Families return to DVDs, books, and radio broadcasts. Music stars release physical albums again. Movie theaters thrive, but piracy dies with the internet. At first, panic rules. Cities descend into unrest, but slowly, communities rediscover older ways. Local newspapers reappear, neighbors speak more, analog hobbies flourish. Humanity, shaken but not broken, begins to remember life before the screen. The Internet isn't just entertainment. It is the backbone of modern industry. Without it, entire technologies vanish. AI collapses first. Today's artificial intelligence models, from chatbots to self-driving cars, feed on constant data flows, remove the internet, and AI becomes static, a snapshot frozen in time. Autonomous vehicles stall, unable to update maps. Robots in homes turn into expensive furniture. Smart factories designed for automation are forced to hire workers again. Finance suffers next. Stock markets, Online banking, cryptocurrency, all of them disintegrate. The global economy falls back to paper cash and face-to-face -face trade. Nations with weak banking infrastructure collapse faster. Healthcare enters crisis. Modern hospitals rely on internet-based systems for everything. Patient records, surgical robots, drug logistics. Without networks, operations halt. Doctors turn to manual methods, while pharmaceutical supplies dry up. Medicine returns decades overnight. 
military technology is perhaps the most frightening. Drones fall silent, satellites still orbit, but without ground internet control, many go dark. Armies used to cyber warfare must now fight with steel and fire again. Countries panic. Who controls what weapons? Without digital verification, mistrust grows and war becomes more likely. Yet there is opportunity. Industries rediscover older technologies. Local manufacturing rises. Libraries, once obsolete, become the core of knowledge again. Analog expertise, from map reading to mechanical repair, returns to honor. Humanity begins building a hybrid world of old and new, where technology must exist without a web. The collapse of the Internet doesn't just disrupt, it changes power itself. Governments lose their greatest weapon, surveillance. No Internet means no mass data collection, no social media manipulation, no digital spying. At first, freedom blooms, but soon, leaders panic at their loss of control. Authoritarian regimes fall into chaos, while democracies struggle to inform citizens. Communication becomes the new currency. Nations with functioning radio, newspapers, and analog phone lines rise in power. Propaganda takes old forms, pamphlets, posters, speeches. But without the Internet, global awareness collapses. Citizens hear only local truths, not global ones. Geopolitics reshuffles. Superpowers built on cyber dominance lose their edge. Smaller nations with strong offline infrastructure thrive. Trade networks fracture. Wars begin not for oil or land, but for fiber optic cables, as countries attempt to rebuild fragments of the web. Culturally, humanity shifts. People spend evenings not scrolling, but gathering. Families reconnect. Neighborhoods reform. Creativity blooms in theaters, parks, and books. But global unity dies. No memes, no viral movements, no instant revolutions. Ideas spread slowly again, bound by distance. Perhaps this is the paradox. The Internet's collapse destroys the world we know, but it may also give birth to something new, a slower, more human society. Or perhaps it leaves us fractured, each nation isolated, trapped in its own silence. The disappearance of the Internet would not just be the failure of a tool. It would be the collapse of modern civilization's nervous system. Every click, every post, every cloud file, gone in an instant. Chaos, panic, collapse. And yet, in that silence, a strange possibility emerges. Communities rediscover each other. Families reconnect. The old world is reborn, not by choice, but by necessity. Would it be better or worse? That depends on how much humanity truly needs the web. Without it, life slows, but also shrinks. The dream of a connected globe dies, replaced by local worlds. The Internet built the modern age. Without it, we may survive, but never as we were. So ask yourself, if tomorrow the Internet vanished, how long could you last before the silence broke you?